So we're just gonna pull off the harmonic balancer too. Cut the video, please. <laughs> okay. Technical difficulties fixed. We have the right end on the gun now. All right, so just to bring you guys up to date, we pulled this motor out of the new Wrangler. The guy we bought it from said it was either rebuilt, it does look rebuilt, uh, and he said it might be a stroker engine. The issue was we had a rod knock, so we pulled it out. What's going in its place is that guy over there. Okay, so this guy came out of a 93 or 94. It had roughly 82,000 miles on it. It was a good running motor. We're just gonna clean it up a little bit, uh, reseal everything. Right now, we're gonna just pull some stuff off. We're gonna take the engine mounts off, the coil, uh, power steering pump, most likely intake manifold, exhaust manifold, so we can get to everything. Pressure wash it, clean it up, and that's it. So we got the engine mount off, three bolts, real simple, came off, and we took the coil off too, which is these two studs. Uh, what else? We took off the fan, four bolts, took it off with the, uh, with the clutch, so we got that off. We want to take off the power steering pump because we're going to use the power steering pump off of that vehicle, which has the... Uh, attached reservoir this one had a separate reservoir so i'd like to stay with that since it's already ready to go so we're going to take these two bolts out this bolt and one behind there and pull this off as a unit and we also pulled off this engine mount off of this side again three bolts real simple came right off harmonic balancer off you want to be careful when you install this guy not to thread these in too far because you'll go through and you'll hit the timing chain cover on the back so you don't need that much as far as threading it in you know uh, you don't need to go all the way through wow this engine was rebuilt hey it's looking <laughs> a lot better I'll take it. There you go. Oh, note to self, don't blow off dust without, when you're that damn close. Just gonna chase them out real quick because this motor has been sitting in my driveway for about six months. So a little dirty and rusty. All right, so we got the harmonic balancer puller on there. It's real simple. Three bolts attached to the harmonic balancer, and then as you tighten this main bolt, what it does is it puts pressure on the crankshaft and pulls the actual harmonic balancer off. Watch the magic of the harmonic balancer puller. Decided to pull off the intake and exhaust manifold too. Real simple. They're all they're held on by the same bolts with these big uh, washers here. So you got to open up these guys. That one back there, down here, and there's a set right here. One, two, three, and four. And that will let your intake and exhaust manifold come off. We're gonna pull off. The alternator as well, completely undress the engine. Might as well make it nice. Pro 
tip of the day or uh, redneck tip of the day. My dad taught me this. When you're trying to wrench something off and say you just don't have the leverage necessary, get a, another wrench, a size, two sizes bigger, and you can loop it around that guy. And now you just extended the wrench. You got a lot more leverage. And break it right open. So we got all the bolts off. We got the alternator and all the brackets off, so it's nice and clean now. Uh, we're gonna pull the intake and exhaust off, cover the ports, and then pressure wash it. And we have a four liter header with the notorious crack where they all crack. Right there. I don't know if the camera picks, is picking that up. Nope, oh, that's not good. But you will see a crack right there. But it's okay, we got another one. Not that greasy. Not that. Not too bad. Bark. All right, so we got everything off. We duct taped the intake and exhaust ports so we don't get any water in there. Duct taped the two vent ports on top. That's it. We're ready to degrease, pressure wash. Let it dry, hopefully, uh, hopefully paint tomorrow.